was 11 years old when we, when we moved to Sanibel. My two sisters, uh, Carrie and Lisa, my two older sisters, and uh, my dad ran a hotel, so we were uh, either helping out the hotel if we weren't at school, that type of thing, and playing in the water, going fishing, or whatever else was going on around. A lot of us island kids went, rode in together, and we left at dusk about 6.30 in the morning. We got back about 6.30 at night, so we got to know each other really well. All the island kids rode together all day, so it was kind of a little family on the bus all day as we traveled to school and then traveled back from school at the end of the day. Collecting coconuts or playing on the beach with shells or, uh, you know, that type of thing, or riding our bikes around the island and uh, that type of thing, you know. Maybe pool hopping as a kid, you would go to, a, to another hotel and hop in the pool or something like that. That'd be kind of fun, meet, meet your buddies there and do that kind of thing. So that was you know, something that wasn't causing any trouble, it was a lot of fun. Starting to windsurfing by accident, my parents were running a hotel on Sanibel and somebody came and, and brought a windsurfer and was enough, nice enough to let me try it. And didn't do very well, but was excited about the sport and uh, followed up on it uh, after they left. and. Uh, just started getting into it, started doing it every day. And down the street was a friend of ours that uh, had a windsurfer, so he, he uh, ran a hotel called the Snook Motel, Bruce Cochran, and he was nice enough to kind of show us a little bit more of what was going on. We kind of didn't know anything about the wind and all that type of thing, so he kind of helped us out and uh, just pro progressed along, went, to, uh, went off to school, Florida State. Uh, pursue this windsurfing career and uh, so I did and uh, 12 years later in the sport um, six years on the team as, as an athlete and uh, won two bronze medals at the world championships and was number one in the nation for three years in a row in the row so some pretty good success and then was lucky enough to be the Olympic coach in 1996 My backdrop is where I, where, I, where I worked every day to uh, practice my skills. So I spent a lot of time on this causeway, either racing or practicing. So uh, there's really no other, other place in the United States that I would think that I'd like, you know, like to do windsurfing than other than Santa Bella. And so it's been a big, pretty big blessing for me to be, be raised here and, and get into windsurfing here on Santa Bella.